Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to The Cutting Room Floor. This is episode number 23, and on this episode, we're going to be talking about the Mothman's Lair video. Now, if you would like to see this video without my commentary, I will put it well, without our commentary. I am here as well. I am joined by my producer, Will Kropinski. <laughs> Hello, everybody. You can follow Will on Twitter at Zombie Trill. And also, I will put a link to Will's YouTube channel below, so you can check that out as well. Let's get into this. I have been fascinated by um, the Mothman story since I was a kid. I had a book, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it was by an author named Daniel Cohen. And in the book, he talked about the Mothman. um, And I just always found it very fascinating. So I was like, let's go to Point Pleasant. Let's go check out the Mothman. And that's exactly (laughs) what we did. Um, So anyway, this you're looking at here is the Mothman statue in Point Pleasant. It's an awesome statue. Yeah, it's really cool. I just read that the artist, the the man who did that statue, put this shot right here. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shot. Um, the But the guy who did, the artist who did the Mothman statue just passed away recently. He this was year? A, yeah, uh, I don't know if it was this year. I think it was last year. Oh, okay. But anyway, we, um, we drove down to... Uh, Point Pleasant, and we stayed in Point Pleasant for a couple days, two nights. Yeah, two nights. Um, and we stayed at the Low Hotel, which is one of the coolest old hotels I've stayed in. It was it was fantastic staying there. I love that hotel. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. If you ever go to Point Pleasant, you should stay at least a night in the Low Hotel, and we'll actually have a Low Hotel video that we did because when we were staying there it was only the two of us we were the only guests so we were walking around the hotel at night all the rooms were unlocked and we were able just to walk around and explore it and it was actually a lot of fun (laughs) it's the coolest hotel experience i've ever had (laughs) um so this is we're driving out to the mcclintic wildlife management area now back in the day this was a uh munitions um dump i think they i don't know if they call it a dump or not but anyway they they had buildings here where they produced munitions and the bunkers out in this area were used to store munitions so that was during world war ii in 1966 when the couples uh the the, the two couples that first saw the mothman um when that at that point it had been abandoned, so... For a while. Yeah. yeah, and I heard recently, like in the last five years, one of the bunkers actually exploded, and there were... I think they heard it, like, in Point Pleasant. Like, was it was, loud? like, a huge oh, explosion. So, the bunkers we looked at, of course, are empty and yes. highly visited by uh, teens and stuff like As that. As you can tell from the penis graffiti. Though, I don't know if people actually spend a lot of time out here at night <laughs> i hope not <laughs> um i didn't even want to spend any time out here at night. we were definitely uh look at me i looked frightened i didn't even know i looked like that you were frightened <laughs> frightened there you go did i say it better that time fright will was frightened i was frightened um i just remember when we got here and and I just want to make clear, I don't believe in the Mothman. Like, I don't think there's a Mothman. It, you know, I think what these people saw was either an owl or a, um, what do they call those, Sandhill Crane? Oh, yeah, yeah, the big... Mm-hmm. I've seen Sandhill Cranes in Florida, and they're huge birds. I mean, and if you see them at night, like, they can look really creepy. But I, I think that this was simply a case of misidentification and... And then just mass hysteria. And, and the, you know. the press, you know, the press started reporting on it and it picked up and it was a national story. And, you know, that led to 
kind of the hysteria that was going on in the town. But there's a lot of stuff, too, if you read about this case... Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff too that doesn't make any sense. Like there's some we- some weird stuff went down in Point Pleasant around that time. Um, you know, with strange visits from Men in Black. Men in Black, yeah. And, you know, a lot of those stories um were from this lady named Mary Hire who was a reporter. Um and she what I found out she died not too long after the events, right? Right, but I don't think that's... I don't. I think there was just coincidence. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's get real here. Um, she um, reported... One of the creepiest stories that I heard of that happened with her was she was in her office. She had an office in Point Pleasant on Main Street, and a she described him as a little man... With, uh, who looked appeared to be Asian, but he wasn't Asian, and he came into her office and asked her how to get to a certain town, and she tried to explain to him how to get there, and then he picked up a pen off of her desk and looked at it like he didn't know what it was, and of course he was wearing the black suit with the black hat and she said he was very strange looking very strange mannerisms didn't seem like he knew how to shake hands that's really weird (laughs) and he he, when he left he got into a black cadillac with uh three other men and they drove off into the night and just weird stuff like that i I love stuff like that didn't he start to like laugh at the pen yeah he laughed or something and then left her off (laughs) like that is like creepy (laughs) so all this stuff combined and me reading about all this stuff as a kid, to be able to go here is like ground zero for a nightmare. <laughs> These domes were extremely creepy. Oh, yeah. But the worst experience was when we left this dome, which is coming up here in a minute. So I'll explain to you what happened. What I was monitoring sound through headphones. We walked out of this dome, and I got about maybe six or seven feet, and I heard a loud noise, like, um, at first I thought you had fallen over. Oh, really? That's what it sounded like to me. That's when I turned around, and then I saw you looking up into the um, bushes. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) But the weirdest thing was, as soon as I turned around, it sounded like in my headphones like morse code what (laughs) yeah i mean you can hear it on this video and the mic has never done that before anywhere else it only happened out here and i've owned this mic for maybe two months i think or a month i'm not quite sure and i've used it in urban areas places you would expect to have some interference but out here there's no towers or anything like that that would interfere now here's the scene right here where we oh yeah man that creeped me out uh, it just it completely startled us like it was probably an owl (laughs) a bird something it sounded like a it's it sounded like it could have been a large bird like an owl or something but man did it scare the living shit out of us i'm telling dan i'm like we we should probably just leave Let's keep walking. Yeah, Will's like, let's just keep walking. And I'm like, what, are you crazy? I'm I like, I want to see the Mothman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe in the Mothman a little bit more than Dan. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> like I was not like I wanted to see whatever it was. Um, I know somebody said that they saw red eyes somewhere in the video. Oh, please. Which yeah, but please <laughs> that <laughs> there's no red eyes. <laughs> Just it would be nice if there had. Bird. Can you imagine if we looked up and there was like two red, red eyes looking down at us? I tell you, I would have just ran past you. And this, the thing is, this was creepy, but it was nowhere near as creepy as the TNT building. Oh my god! Or the what's left of the TNT building? That was creepy. This one, at least, we're walking on that trail. There's yeah, the no trail, trail at the TNT building. Yeah, the TNT building has no trail, so you feel like you're trapped because it's such a like. There's just a wall of grass. Or yeah, trees it's like around it's. It, it takes time to walk up to it and to get inside of it, and uh, you're walking along the side of the building, and there's all these like 
kind of concrete structures that stick up. They're like oval shaped, uh, arch shaped. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and there's one way out. There is yeah. There's only one, one way, way out. out. And remember the two crackheads we ran into. Yeah. So West Virginia, you know, they have a lot of problems in, with drugs, and mostly, I think meth is probably like probably. one of the things down there. But these, we we got down to the TNT plant, which is a, a, probably about a mile from this site here. It's not that far. We got there. Look at that, isn't it? You did not want to turn your light out. I didn't. I was like, turn your light out. I want to get a shot of the steam. (laughs) (laughs) You were like terrified. I don't want, I don't like being out in the woods with no light source. What is it about the the woods at night though? That's so like unnerving. Because there's so many things that it could be. That that is true. A person, an animal, the moth. I wasn't worried about running into people though. Well, no. Yeah. Because I've gotten, since this video came out, I've gotten messages from people who are like, um, oh, somebody else said, if you you see the helicopter there, mm-hmm. they're like, what is that to the left? Oh, yeah. And it's moving. Is it a star? I can't remember. But it was a beautiful night. I'll give it that. The geese were freaking me out. <laughs> Sometimes they like make weird noises and it sounds like a woman's like screaming. screaming and it, it's very <laughs> strange. Um, but yeah, we were down, we went to the, to the, uh, old TNT plant area. We tried to do it, but these two girls were in a truck and they were all cracked out. Super cracked out. Asking yeah. us if we had quarters. Yeah. They're like, do you have two quarters? For and we're like, reason. what? Um, you guys will have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, what are you doing here? And we're like, well, we're, we're, uh, we're filming a documentary and they're like, they're like, oh, you're going to have so much fun. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so much fun in the woods. I'm like, it's midnight man. in the woods. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> fun. <laughs> and like, we, we're sitting on the end of the car and we look over at their car and they're like, they're touching their nose. Oh my God. They, the one girl was like rubbing her face. Mm-hmm. Like she had her hand. She was just like ripping into her face. <sighs> um, That trail there, I thought that went to a bunker, but it didn't. Man, those woods look so creepy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, so we left because I didn't want to leave my car there. With them, yeah. With them, because I was afraid they'd break into the car, so we had to leave. And I think we went back into town and... Uh, I think we got some food and then went back. But it was late. Yeah. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. when we got back to the uh, to the, to where the powerhouse... Not powerhouse. The uh, TNT plant yeah. was. Um. This, when we were here, this was probably around 11, maybe. Yeah, it was still pretty late. Yeah, it was like 11 or so when we were out here filming these. It had to have been, because I remember we went, we left here, went to do the TNT plant. Mm -hmm. The girls were there, so we were like, not leaving the car. Yeah. And then we went and filmed that abandoned house. Yes. And then we went... Back into town, chilled out, and came back out here at like 2 o'clock in the morning, which made it even worse. Yeah, and a, a cop stopped us while we were going. Did they? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we got pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> we got pulled over. We're like, uh, uh, I don't remember what he said. He's uh, like, no, I remember he was like, what are you guys doing? And you're like, we're going to go film at the, and we're gonna go film in the woods. And he was like, the TNT plant? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, like, have fun. Full stop. Yeah, he's like, have a good time. Uh, so he was, the police officer was very nice and, uh, I think they were just bored. Yeah, they were bored because you, you, the, the town once eight, nine o'clock rolls around, there's, there's no nothing one. going on. Everything's closed and there's nothing going on. But, um, I did like the sound inside of these domes. Oh, it was great. The reverberation. Yeah. It was pretty cool. But, um, next week. Wait a minute, not next week. It's going to be Friday, but Friday we're going to have part two, which is we're going to do the abandoned house and the um, the TNT plant, the remains of it. I don't think it's the main building. It's the... Uh, it's it's It looks like it's the remains of a building that they tore down. Mm-hmm. There's only like just one, I don't know, a few structures. Yeah, there's like... But there was rooms. Yeah, I mean there were rooms, but that was the that was the scariest place we went. This was scary, but it wasn't as scary as no. the other place. But 
I I really enjoyed filming this stuff. This I love the 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 way the woods look. Yeah, it's very, it, I like, mean, Evil Dead kind just of. as like a just from a filmmaking standpoint. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better looking environment. I mean, it's just so eerie looking, and you know, you're going through the brush, and then you see the door of the the bunker, and it's like wow, <laughs> you know, it's like. So I love this kind of. Um, situation but yeah i mean i was a little on edge i did i you know i don't think there's a mothman but all the stories and stuff kind of go through your head as you're doing this and mm-hmm. it's 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 hard to it's undeniably ominous out there at night i mean it's just a creepy place uh but back in the day when when uh this was all occurring um the roads weren't blocked so people were you driving drive right back. Th- they said thousands of people were driving back into the uh, the uh, old TNT area looking for the Mothman, and no one has found. Him. I don't think anybody found it, but a lot of people in town claim to have seen it. Yeah, but I think the original the original people who um, saw it, I think they've all passed away. Hmm. I know that the one lady. Uh, her name is Linda Scarberry. Uh, she was the one who first sighted it, and she... Uh, that's a great shot, too. That is. Of course I, I, love when it, of course I did it. Of course. <laughs> I love when it looks like you can't even see me right here, and it's just I my know. camera. That's awesome. But anyway, I know that the lady, Linda Scarberry, passed away, and uh, she had... You know, she gave a lot of information about what she saw and you know i'm not really here to uh debunk i'm not a debunker i'm just here to make a creepy video about mothman and that's a that's what we did yep and it was fun to shoot and we had a great time staying in point pleasant it was it's actually a really cool weird little town and it has one of the best mexican restaurants oh yeah i can't remember what the mexican restaurant was called and it's right down the street from the hotel yeah it's on main street and we ate there like three times it was so so good good. (laughs) (laughs) it was really good one of the highlights of the trip um but yeah but this was uh this was fun i mean if you ever get a chance they have a mothman festival in september and uh, I would really like to go down that would be good, and go awesome. to that. That would probably be a lot of fun. But th- this town, good people, nice people, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like you're stepping back in time. Yeah. It's like the weirdest thing, because this town is literally like, it, it's like you're in the 50s or something, except there's new cars driving around. But we had a lot of fun there. I mean, we just, filming the whole time never ending stuff to film i love these cooling towers those with the so steam and I guess going a lot up of into the sky wondered about those lights because they look like yeah that's eyes. why i like them because they look like two red eyes yeah <laughs> so cool um anyway so if you want to see part two it'll be up next friday or this friday and uh if it's already this friday watch it watch it <laughs> and wait for the cutting room floor on that episode <laughs> And we're going to have a third episode. There's three parts to this. The third episode is is us at the Low Hotel. Hotel. So, um, and I want to thank. Um, oh, I can't pronounce his name. This, this Pronk, I think it's this, something like that. <laughs> what was I'll get the, the pronunciation screen? anyway. He did the music. Fantastic composer. Go check him out on Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys.